Folks, thank you so much for watching this video and for supporting this channel. If you enjoyed this video and you have not subscribed, please do so and click on the notification bell. And if you are subscribed, please check to make sure you still are. The algorithm is aggressively removing subscribers at an alarming rate. I also thank you for the super thanks, folks, and promise to answer each and every one I receive. Help us keep fighting to save pop culture because the forces of wokeness are stacked against us. Thanks for watching, and now, on to the video. My friends, this is a difficult story for a lot of reasons, but an important one because it gives us a glimpse into how ugly and vicious these woke wankers inside Hollywood and Disney really are. I received a detailed report from one of my sources I hadn't heard from in a while. What I'm about to share with you was not brought to me through my Hollywood spies, but rather a source who started out as a walk-in in 2023, a source that works inside Disney and or Lucasfilm, who was dismayed by what they were hearing from woke co-workers and colleagues about the creator of Star Wars and the architect of many childhood dreams, George Lucas. Now, as it turns out, George Lucas was mentioned once in the Epstein files that were recently released, but before you jump to conclusions, here are the facts of the matter as presented by InsideTheMagic.com. Quote, Star Wars creator George Lucas has appeared on unsealed files of names mentioned in the legal case against sex trafficker and abuser Jeffrey Epstein. Nearly five years after the disgraced financier died in his cell, a second set of court documents have been unsealed. These feature new names of figures cited in Epstein's case, including George Lucas, creator of Star Wars, Indiana Jones, and Lucasfilm. Evidence given by Epstein victim Johanna Schoberg involved questioning whether she had met Lucas on Epstein's island. However, Schoberg stated, that she had never met Lucas, whose name was only mentioned once in the list, as well as denying meeting Donald Trump." Unquote. So, from what is publicly known thus far, barring further evidence to the contrary, Lucas at some point apparently met Epstein. That's no surprise. The scumbag was all over Hollywood and moved freely through the social circles of the rich, Trump also met Epstein. It's a small world in that rich sphere. People do meet. But there is no evidence at all that Lucas actually went to the island. The witness denied ever meeting him. There doesn't seem to be any fire at all behind that whiff of smoke. So that should be the end of the matter. But no, my friends, no, as it turns out, the woke wankers inside Disney and Lucasfilm and presumably all over Hollywood are salivating at the chance to cancel George Lucas. Cancel George Lucas? Those bastards? It's like you said in your last video, Doomcock. These woke wankers rotting Hollywood from within like termites just want to smash every last hero and story and archetype and legend from our culture and replace it with their sick brainwashing crap. Hey, wait till you hear what these idiots are saying about George Lucas inside Disney. It's rare when we get a glimpse into how these scumbags operate from the inside, but I'm here to tell you, they're coming for George Lucas, and we should be ready for it. As I said, a longtime source contacted me yesterday with the following report, and I share their own words with you now with only minor editing. Quote, What I'm contacting you about is in regards to some of the chatter I've heard throughout the day. While none of this is official on any level at Disney or Lucasfilm, it certainly says a lot about the overall mindset and attitude within the company. As you may or may not have already been aware, the names of several politicians and celebrities have been released today in conjunction to the Jeffrey Epstein files, with one name in particular being that of George Lucas. While many names were mentioned merely as speculation in those interviews or just as a name drop alone, this news has turned many at Disney into gleeful UL idiots loving the idea that George's name was mentioned, especially the woke activists working at the company. Again, none of this is on any official level or coming from executives who have the power to make decisions, but what I and others believe 
are lower and mid-level employees who are there only because of DEI. Big surprise there. I have two different colleagues who witnessed the following discussions today. The first were two young women joyfully discussing that George's name was included on the Epstein list and said, quote, the company now has every reason to fire him, unquote, and that she, quote, always knew he was a creep, unquote. This just goes to show the level of idiocracy and ignorance of the people working at Disney who think that George somehow still works for Lucasfilm or is in any way associated with Lucasfilm IPs. The second conversation overheard was not on a Disney property, but still among those working within the Hollywood film industry who are assumed to work for Disney and or Lucasfilm based on the person that witnessed the conversation. Now this is a conversation that I'm going to paraphrase in order to protect my source with the exception of one sentence which I think is very, very telling and which I will read verbatim, my friends. Three people were talking. One said they need to make an example of Lucas, even though he's denying it because guilt or innocence are irrelevant. Someone said there's no doubt that they were friends. Oh, geez, you know, you can just tell he's creepy. And then one of them said the sooner that he and his legacy is eviscerated from the IP and the company, the better. Person number three. Oh, it's coming. For sure. Ha! Holy shit, folks. Quote, this is paraphrased, but this is close to what the person witnessed. The sooner that he and his legacy is eviscerated from the IP and the company, the better. Again, this just goes to show you the mindset of the people working in the entertainment industry today, especially at Disney. Unquote. This is sick. It just goes to show you what horrible people these are. No one should be gleeful about tragedies like this or twist an innocent man being mentioned in conjunction with something as evil as this into a chance to smear his name and cancel him? That is their modus operandi. There is no such thing as due process or fairness or honor among these poor peoples roaming the halls of Disney like the Woking Dead. They simply want to target and eliminate great men of history, living and dead, in order to take out the so-called patriarchy. These people build nothing. They simply destroy. If they weren't so loathsome, I'd applaud. I do so love destruction. Me too. But I love honest destruction. Godzilla-like destruction. Stomping and crushing destruction. Not character assassination and cancel culture. Oh, that shit is too evil for the likes of me. I agree with you, Harvey Cthulhu. Yes, there are rumblings that cancel culture is coming for George Lucas, my friends, and I wanted to sound the alarm. Too many times we stand by and allow these people to drag our own down, drag them unjustly through the mud. It's sick and it's evil, and we should be prepared for it. In conclusion, I'd like to share what my source said about this situation. Quote, Based on what I skimmed through today, with the names listed and how George was included, I think it's nothing more than just a name drop. Perhaps Epstein met George at a party once, and of course, it's now used in a negative light. George has always been far too busy to get involved in that kind of lifestyle, nor was he ever interested in it either. It doesn't matter though, the woke activists will take any sort of negative light they can to help diminish George's reputation and legacy, as I've seen and heard it with my own eyes and ears over the last couple of years, and it's only getting worse." Unquote. My friends, I have some information that I cannot disclose that tells me George Lucas is innocent. I can't tell you what it is, it would not be seemly for me to mention it, but I happen to know George Lucas is not like that, my friends. But that doesn't matter. They're coming for George Lucas because innocence in this woke new world is no defense. From the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends, stay angry.
Ha, 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 ha,